Hey, <laughs> how's everybody doing? What's going on, Facebook Live? And can you believe it? We're almost at episode 30, episode 29, the year of consistency, 365 days of pure commitment and consistency. And that's all consistency is, is commitment, a daily commitment to say you're going to do something and do it. And that's what all these lives and these messages are about, is how to stay consistent. Many things stop us from becoming our best selves, and many of that is because of our lack or of our consistency, depending on where, where you are. And today I want to talk about something really funny. And somebody asked me once, Rich, what is, what is your keys to success like what what makes you successful what makes you successful in other people you know what what made what pushes you and this is the very first time i've ever gonna say this and unless you read my book destiny on purpose how to get what you truly want out of life <laughs> i mentioned it in there but if you never read the book my major key to success is i follow nature i follow nature's laws i truly believe and i know that we are not separate from nature. So the same laws that govern the birds in the air and the fish in the sea and the trees on the ground is the same laws that govern us. So all I do is follow these laws. I, I'm very, I pay attention to what's happening around me. I'm very aware and I pay attention to these laws and I study the laws of physics as being an engineer and I study the laws of science and it all correlates to be successful. And the same laws that helps a bird reach its full potential of flight and let a fish reach their full potential of swimming is the same laws that govern us to reach our full potential of greatness. Because I truly believe men were, and women were made to be great. Fish were meant to swim, birds were meant to fly, people, human beings were meant to be great. And the reason I follow this law is timing. If you notice, everything in nature has its own timing. Everything has its gestation period. Everything has its right time. There's a right time you pick your fruit, and there's a right time you don't. And there's a right time you eat your fruit, and there's a right time where you don't. And it reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I love that movie. And especially the second one, volume two. There's a running gag when um, Nebula was trying to eat this fruit and each person kept smacking it out of her hand says, it's not ripe yet. Smacked it out of her hand, it's not ripe yet. Smacked it out of her hand, it's not ripe yet. Finally, she gets a hold of this fruit, she bites into it, phew, spits it out and says, it's not ripe yet. <laughs> and sometimes that's life, is we want the fruit now. We want to eat it now. We want all the accolades now. We want the success now. We want the praise now. We want everything right now, but it's not ripe yet. See, when you're in a gestation period, which you are in your journey to success, every day is ripening. It's getting bigger and better for you. But when you go too fast and you try to get the successes and the accolades too quickly, you end up losing it. Or some people lose their mind. Some people get it too early when they weren't ready for it. And sometimes one of my prayers every day is, you know, thank God for giving me the things that I'm ready for and withholding things that I'm not. And I was having a conversation with uh, my wife one day and we were talking about our levels and where we are. And somebody called me on the phone and said, hey man, I can get you some gigs, Rich. I can get you some speaking gigs right now. I can get you on stage. I got this awesome program. This is going to be great for you. I'll have you toward the country, the whole nine. And I told him, I appreciate it. I appreciate the offer. I appreciate that you believe in me enough to even offer this to me, but not yet. Not yet. I didn't feel in tune with the offer. There's levels to your awareness, but I didn't feel attuned to the offer. I felt like if I jumped on the offer, I would do all I would be doing is rushing. I'd be going too fast, too quickly, and moving too early when I'm not ready yet. 
I like where I'm at now because the timing of where I'm at now feels perfect. It may not be where the levels I want to be. It may not give me the accolades that I want to have. It may not bring forth the successes that I would wish and hope to have earned. But it feels right. You are not separate from the fruit. The fruit knows when it's ripe for eating. All of nature. See, a bee doesn't go to the pollen. A bee doesn't go into the flower until the flower's ready for it. A bee knows that intuitively. You've never seen a bee flying around a bud talking about, open up, open up, let me in, open up. It, no. <laughs> the bee knows when it's ready, I'll come. And when I'm ready to come, that's when the time is ready for me to be open. So you might be in a place in your life when you want things to happen quickly. You, want, you wish everything would happen right now. You want that relationship right now. You want the money right now. You want the career right now. Some, you might want the kids right now. But the universe will let you know when the timing is right. He says, not ripe yet. And not to even go biblical, but there's a story of Sarah and Abraham. I don't know if you ever, if you are a uh, Christian person or listen to the gospel. But there's a story between Abraham and Sarah. When God came to Abraham and said, I'm going to birth you a king. So you will give birth to a great man who will end up being a king. And Abraham says, well, I'm old. How can I have a baby? And Sarah says, I'm getting older. How can we have a baby? But God said, just wait. And years pass, and years pass, and years pass. And Sarah gets impatient. So she tells Abraham, I want you to make love to my maid so we can have a baby. But once Abraham makes love to the maid and they have a baby, Sarah completely resents her, resents the baby, and says they have to get out because the timing wasn't right. But later on, Abraham and Sarah did make love. And even in Abraham's old age, I think it was maybe 100, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. They had the baby. Why? Because the promise was there. The gestation period was there. They just had to wait it out. You may be in a place where you're doing all the right things and be good with that. Be good where you are. Be good that you have a roof over your head that food's on the table. Be grateful for the things you have and that'll help you focus less on what you don't have because it's only that lack that makes us want to rush. I do it myself. When I feel like I don't have something, that's when I'm like, okay, time to run, time to get it, time to get it. But really, if I'm doing everything every day, bit by bit, chipping away at the sculpture, before I know it, the masterpiece will be complete. But I have to stay in myself, in the timing of nature. Everything has its season. Everything has its time. So before you eat that fruit, before you go after that next offer, before you go for that next deal, before you push for that baby, push for that marriage, push for that relationship, before you do it, ask yourself, is the fruit ripe yet? Is it the right time? Because once the fruit is ripe, it's juicy, it's delicious, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want it to be. But when you rush, pff, it's not ripe yet. <laughs> Again, I hope this served you well. Uh, I know this happens to me. I like to rush and I like to push. And I want things to happen right now. We live in a microwave society where everything has to happen two seconds ago. But if we could slow down, if we could slow down and really use our minds and use our awareness and use our feelings, our feelings talk to us, use our feelings, we'll know when it's time and when the fruit is ripe. Again, this is Rich Fontaine. Either you could agree with me or not agree with me, but either way, I feel this was a successful conversation. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Yes, Greg, let me in. Yeah, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Sometimes the flower is not ready to open. You can't force the flower open. It has its own time. Uh, and I appreciate everybody watching. Again, if I don't ever shout you out, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's because I just don't see you. So Tommy, I appreciate it. Derek, I appreciate it. Jim, my man, my main man, I appreciate it. 
Uh, and I appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this. Please like, please share, please comment. Please send this to people that you know may be Russian. You know, may be Russian. They're from America, but they're Russian. <laughs> that was a lame joke. Forgive me. <laughs> but in all honesty and all realness, wait for your gestation period. The right time is coming for you. If you could be patient, if you could chip away every day, chip away every day and just be good with where you are, before you'll know it, you'll reach the deadline and where you're fully supposed to be. Love is love. I love all you. Thank you for watching. I hope this serves you well. Namaste.